This past week, Elder Scrolls Online's creative director Rich Lambert stated on a Twitch livestream that the champion point cap would no longer be raised for the foreseeable future. This is a serious departure from the expected 30 champion point increase that most SO players have come to expect with each quarterly update. He also mentioned that ZeniMax would be taking a closer look at the game's champion system moving forward and reevaluate it altogether. What does this mean for SO players both new and old? That's exactly what we're going to dive into in this video. By locking the champion point cap to 810, players can no longer improve their character via the champion system. This really only leaves gear, or sets, as the sole form of progression for endgame players. While they can still obtain skill points via quests and new sky shards, most endgame players have no shortage of these, and so I have not included them. And while Esso is by no means as hardcore as other MMOs like WoW and Rift, one has to wonder how long-time veterans of the game will receive this news. The champion system was originally created to give players a sense of progression after they'd reached max level, and effectively replace the old veteran ranks. Initially there was no cap on how many champion points you could have, but this was abused by players who grinded their way to the highest levels over 1000 so that they were overpowered. And since the average player didn't have the time or mentality to go farm for days on end as well, a cap was added to help level the playing field. Since that time, the cap has been steadily raised to what is today 810. It provides players with passive benefits to damage, recovery, protection, and even healing, but it also increases the amount of magicka, health, and stamina they have, further enhancing their characters. This is certainly progression and one that can be felt in a big way, particularly between champion ranks 0 and 300, but is it the best way? I think that most endgame players would agree that the incremental increase from update to update is not really felt at this point due to diminishing returns. It has not been real progression since about champion rank 600, and because the requirements for sets have not changed in all that time, it's more of a false progression. And even if these things were not true, max level players usually reach the new cap in a matter of a week, while low level players just fall further behind. This leaves neither group happy. What does the cap freeze mean? Honestly, you will hardly notice the change. It is a good move by Zenimax while they figure out what they want to do with the champion system, but it's a bit like putting a band-aid on a cut that needs stitches. Sure, it will slow down the bleeding, but it isn't ultimately going to resolve the problem. The freeze will allow lower level players to catch up, which is good, and it will provide the opportunity for Zenimax to balance the game with greater ease. Many of the game's group content, dungeons, trials, arenas have become trivial because of the slow and steady power creep over a number of years, and this makes it possible to rebalance them based off a max level that isn't going to change in the near future. This should make for a better group dungeon trial experience by all players, and is something I am looking forward to, even if not yet announced. How do you have progression without having progression? This is the exact problem that Zenimax faces, and frankly one many developers of online multiplayer experiences face. How do you create a sense of accomplishment without giving some players too much of an advantage over others? The answer to this is via equipment, or more specifically, the game's amazing sets. Zenimax has clearly caught on to this because many of the game's trials now have perfected and normal versions of each set. This lessens the gap between the hardcore and the average, but does provide a benefit to the former, hopefully satisfying both groups. In addition, they have taken the time to revisit older sets, revamping them into better, more viable versions. They did revamp even more sets with the Wrathstone update, so this is something I think we can expect to continue in the future. Hopefully they will make equipment the progression that players desire, and that new players are perfectly happy not having, until they have it. The future of SO The biggest issue that Zenimax will have over the coming year is deciding what to do with the champion system. I think it's clear to see at this point that while there's nothing seriously broken with it, it no longer serves the purpose of providing progression to endgame players. This leaves them three options, one, remove the system altogether, two, replace the system with something else, or three, leave it there. I want to take a look at each of these and what they would mean for the game in this section. Keep champion system at 810. First, let's look at what this would mean to just leave the cap at 810, or even agree to raise it again at some point. If by the end of 2019 Zenimax has not announced any changes to this particular aspect of the game, I would bet money that we will not see any. This would be a huge gamble for them because they know it isn't a great system, but it may be easier to leave it than fix it. Now I don't think that would make them more popular with their user base, but I'm sure this decision is being weighed on dollars and cents, and Rich would have to convince the higher-ups that it's worth the investment, something he may or may not be able to do. If this were to occur, then the game would stay largely the same, and the whole game would be rebalanced around CR 810, which wouldn't be so bad. The biggest downside is that there would be no progression outside of sets, and that is something I have mixed feelings about. Perhaps that is why most MMOs only raise their caps once a year, 
and maybe it's just the growing pains of an MMO trying to do something different. Replace the champion system. If ZeniMax should decide to replace the champion system, then they have to figure out just exactly with what they will replace it. I'm sure they are spending a bit of time looking at other MMOs to see what they are doing, and if they can do something similar, but my guess is at this stage they are still investigating. I don't think it's a matter of whether Rich and company want to replace the system or not, but more of how to do it. Watching the livestream last week, you could easily see that there has been discussions about it, but they have not yet reached a decision. Of the three options, this one is perhaps the hardest to pull off because it could potentially break the game if done wrong. The problem with adding new things into an already complex equation is that sometimes it's hard to see all the possible issues it could bring before they are alive. I fully expect ZeniMax to take their time to make this decision, so I think we'll be waiting the better part of the year for news on whether this is happening or not. Remove the champion system. If ZeniMax should decide to remove the champion system, they would have to rebalance the entire game around level 50, which is a lot of work, I'm sure. What makes this the least likely option, in my opinion, is two things. First, if you're going to rebalance the whole game anyway, why not add a new system? And second, if you take away the champion system and don't replace it with something else, players may be left feeling gimped if they aren't as powerful. Players hate nerfs, and they will not be happy if they are all nerfed at once. It's clear to see that ZeniMax is aware of the problems with the champion system, but what remains to be seen is how they will address it. They have taken their first steps by locking the cap at 810, and they've been steadily working on improving sets to give players a better sense of progression there, but where we go from here is anyone's guess. I don't think we will have our answer until close to year's end, and I think it is more likely than not we will see some sort of replacement. When ZeniMax removed veteran ranks, they had already added the champion system, and so I feel somewhat confident they will do something similar here. Elder Scrolls Online has been heading in the right direction for quite a long time now, and I think this could be a great opportunity to make another solid improvement to the game. Be sure to check out our Wrathstone breakdown video, and be sure to stay tuned as we cover some of the Wrathstone sets.